Hi everyone, this is Chris of Crafty Bean. Welcome to my channel. Today as my first uh, YouTube video, I'm going to show you how to make this very cute and pretty crochet hair bows. They are very easy to make and it's a beginner project, beginner friendly. So let's get started. Okay, the materials that we're going to be needing for this project, we will need a yarn. Any kind of yarn that you have at home will do. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm actually using a Karen Simply Soft. It's 100% acrylic yarn. And size 4, medium ply. It's an orchid color. We will also be needing a size 4 or size G 4mm hook. We will also be needing a scissor. A darning needle to weave our ends and an alligator clippy. You can also use hair ties but for this tutorial I'm gonna be using a clippy. I got this from Michaels. I believe you can also get them from Walmart and of course at other craft stores. So let's proceed. Okay so the first thing that we will need to do is to uh, make a slip knot. This is how I make my slip knot. I just wrap the yarn around my index finger just like that and this one goes underneath this one like that and then I wrap it around on top this one goes in front like that and this one I'm just gonna pull it and there you go you have your sleep knot you can now insert your hook there and again we're gonna be using a size G 4 millimeter hook for the base of our project, we're going to be chaining 18. If you want your bow to be longer, you can chain more than 18. But for this one, I'm going to be doing 18 chains. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 18 chains okay once we're done with our 18 chains we're going to be starting off our round one I've mentioned earlier that this is a beginner project because aside from these chains the only stitch that we're going to be doing is a double crochet so we're going to be doing seven rounds I think that's um, enough um, rounds or row for this hair bow um, if you want it to be wider, you can still um, do more rounds of your double crochet. But for this one, it's just going to be round 7. So for the first round, we'll start our double crochet by skipping the first 3 chains from the hook. So 1, 2, 3, 4. We will insert, we will yarn over and insert our hook on the 4th chain from the hook, skipping the 3. And then yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops just like this. Yarn over on the first two loops. And you should still have two loops. Yarn over, pull through. And there's your double crochet. And again, yarn over, insert your hook on the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through on the first two. Yarn over, pull through on the next two. So all across this row or round, we're just going to be doing a double crochet. So I'm going to pause the video, just continue to do double crochets. And I'm going to meet you at the end of this row. Alright, I'm back at the end of my round one. I'm on my last stitch, so I will double crochet there, yarn over. Insert on that last stitch, pull through, pull through on the two, pull through on the last two. So if you did 18 chains, you should be able to have um, 15 double crochet. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 double crochets. So from round 1 to round 7, every round you should have 15 double crochets now the turn of your work for every round will be this 
After you double crochet on the last stitch, you will chain one and turn your work and then start double crochet again on the first stitch. So every round you should end it with a chain and then turn your work to proceed to the next round. So yarn over, insert on the next stitch. This one we're going to be inserting on our two loops. Two loops. So just continue to do your double crochets and then when you reach the end of the row you're going to be doing chain one and then turn your work over before you start doing your first double crochet on the next round. So again our pattern will be 15 double crochet, chain one, turn your work, 15 double crochet, chain one, turn your work. And I will meet you once we already have our seven rows of double crochet. Okay? Okay, now I'm on the round seven. And I'm on the end of my round seven here. So I will do my double crochet on my last stitch. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven rounds seven rows of 15 double crochet so after that what we're going to do is just to finish this off by doing um chain one and cut off the excess i can just make a knot just like so and now we are ready to weave our ends so we're going to be using our darning needle. So just hide um, this excess yarns that we have here. Of course, make sure it doesn't show in front, okay? Let's do the same thing on this one. There we have it. Now what we're going to be doing is to choose the neat one um, part. So this is going to be our front. The one where we did our weaving off or weaving the ends is going to be our back. So we just need to fold it in half and then fold the sides just like that. And just form your bow like that. And then now we're just going to wrap piece of yarn right here to secure our bow. I'm gonna leave a long tail so that later we can tie tie it off. So I think seven or eight times will be enough. Alright, just make sure that your ties is in the center of your bow. Okay. 
and if you're happy with it then you can just cut the yarn and tie it at the back I think this will do so and just make several knots at the back of your bow to secure it in place again make sure that your ties are in the center or middle and just like that there you have your bow we will just need to insert our clippy there but before that I would want to hide this part of the yarn so I'm gonna put it underneath before I cut it Okay, now I can just cut those ends. And there's our bow. In inserting the clippy, I'm not gonna use glue anymore. Some put glue in here. Me, I'm, I'm not gonna um, use glue anymore. I'm just gonna simply insert them at the back of these ties. Just to secure it in place. There you go. It's okay if this one is showing. I can just cut off the remaining. There you go. So. Now you have your cute bow. It's perfect for your little girls. Or for gift giving. For your nieces. You can also put that on a hair ties just like this i'm gonna insert a link on the description box on how to insert ties instead there we go like i mentioned before you can you can just um adjust the size of your bow if you want a bigger one you can do a longer chain or if you want a wider one you can do more rows of your double crochet so there you have it i hope you enjoy watching the video and if you do um kindly hit the like button please don't also forget to subscribe um so you can also watch other crafts that i'm gonna be doing on this channel thank you so much for your time watching and have a great day